One of the most complex aspects of computer design is handling dimensions. There's close to a hundred different variables that affect the look of them from the, the arrowheads to the dimension lines, extension lines, gaps, no gaps, position of the text, and on and on it goes. So one of the important jobs of BricsCAD is to help you handle dimension styles. Now here I've got a blue rectangle that I've dimensioned using the uh, standard dimension style, but what if I want a different style? I want it to look differently. Now I could uh, create it on my own using the settings dialog box, uh, but an easier way that's relatively new in BricsCAD is to simply borrow dimension styles from other drawings. So here I've got the content browser open and I've gone down into some BricsCAD sample drawings. You can see it lists blocks and dimension styles and model views and I'm going to click on dimension styles and this particular one has just one in it and when I click on the name you can see down here a preview of what it has and it looks like the uh, dimension lines and extension lines etc are in red while the text is in yellow. To add this to your drawing, just drag it in. It appears that nothing happened, but let's go here to the dimension drop list and you can see it exists there. I'll start a command, choose an entity and place it and you can see it's definitely different. Now you can go ahead and uh, make modifications to this uh, dimension style to make it better match your drawings, in particular the dim scale. So we have this monster new dimension style in the drawing. What do we do with it? Well, one of the easiest things to do is to change the size. Click it and over here in the properties palette, you have dim scale overall and that's what changes the, the size. I'm going to put in 0.1, press enter and there we go. That's a lot more reasonable size. Press escape to undo the highlighting. Now let's uh, assign this as a different dimension style. Easiest way to do that is to enter the brand new AI dim style command. The save option says select entities. It really means select the dimension. So I've selected that. Name under which to save the style. I'll call it my red style. And when we look on the uh, dimension style control, there it is. Let's choose this dimension done in the standard style. Choose my red style and it copies it. Now that's pretty easy. BricsCADS has three different places where you can make changes to dimensioning variables which then change the look of the dimensions associated with that style. Which one you use depends on which you find most convenient, otherwise there's not much difference between them. Let me uh, choose a dimension and over here in the properties panel you can see the, all the different variables that are available. So for example, I'll change primary units from decimal to scientific and you can see the change happens there right away. The official place to make the changes is in the Drawing Explorer and the easiest way I find to access that is to type ddim and there it is. So there's the uh, standard style, the other styles that we have in the drawing. Now what's very cool about the Drawing Explorer is you can choose two and then click show only differences and now you'll see what's different between them. Here there's quite a few differences. Let me ch choose this one and the one we brought in. Show only differences and there you see only the dimension scale is different. You can of course make changes to the dimension style in here. So for example I will turn on tolerances because that's an easy one to see. This preview shows you immediately what the difference is and when I close the dimension in the drawing also has tolerances. The third way is settings command and you can click this button here to jump directly to the dimension sections and once again we have all the different dimension styles that affect the look of dimensions.